Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX warehouse updates here at Bastrop, Texas. Well, it's been another month since I've been over at the SpaceX and the Boring Company site here in Bastrop, Texas. So I thought I would do another video so that we could keep up to date with what is going on. As you can see behind me, the SpaceX facility is really coming along and this black kind of front entrance is nearly completed with a lot of the glass installed, some of the glass doors and uh, other features of this part of the building. Now, to help put into context what we've seen as far as the changes out here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the comparison photos that I have for you that I took two months ago, one month ago, and again today. And these are, of course, during the flight of the drone. And I think this helps gives a really good uh, uh, feeling for what has happened here on this site in just the last two months or so. Now, the building behind me is purported to be a Starlink facility. And in addition to that, it also serves as a warehouse. It's about 521,000 square feet. And the expected completion date is by the end of March. So just a month away or so. And as you can see behind me, the progress is really taking a, a fast pace towards that goal. So anyway, let's talk about a few of the comparison images over the last few months here at the Starlink facility. The first comparison slide is from the northwest looking back at the side of the factory. You can see how it progressed from December to January. And then here is an image of how this section and the factory looks today. And you can see that it is significantly more complete than it was the last two months. And now we'll transition over to the northeast side, looking back at the factory. Again, you can see the significant changes on December through January. And then looking today, you can see that the basic structure is virtually completed. All of the receiving docks on this side as well. And now most of the work is on the grounds nearby the structure itself. And then finally, we'll take a look here at the main entrance section. You can see the significant changes between December and January where they started to put the glass walls and doors in. And here is that same image and vantage point today. You can see that that front entrance is virtually completed. All the glass is in, the roof is completed, and overall the building is very close to being complete on the outside. So hopefully those comparison shots really puts into context the changes here at this facility here in Bastrop, Texas. Now right across the road uh, is the Boring Company facility here also at Bastrop, Texas. And this complex has seen some changes particularly on the side where they're doing an additional tunnel drilling, at least it looks like it today. Also, some of the towers that are used to help extricate the dirt from the boring tunnel as it is dug has been moved as well. And you'll see that in the comparison photos that I will show you here in just a second. Now, this facility, as I said, continues to expand at a slower rate than what we see with the SpaceX facility, but nevertheless, there are several changes, and I'll point them out in the comparison images also from two months ago, one month ago, and again today. So I hope that you find these images of the Boring Company helpful as well. For this two-month comparison, we start off in the southeast looking back at the main facility. And you can see the differences between December and January were not all very significant, uh, but uh, you can see the housing complexes near this portion of the facility. And then here is an image very similar, a little bit closer in, and you can see that uh, on this section of the site, not a whole lot of changes in this period of time. However, as we move a little bit closer, you can see this section next to the rounded top tent and you can see that the soil extraction towers are both uh, in this closer to the drone section and only one of the tunnels had been drilled at this particular time. 
Here is the same picture today. We can see those soil extraction towers. One of them has been moved uh, closer to the road. You can also see the start of a second boring tunnel on the left-hand side of the image. And then here is another image from the Starlink side looking back towards the boring company. You can see the exit point of this particular boring tunnel and the changes between December and January. Now today, this is how this site looks as well. And besides the door being open to the tunnel, uh, again, not a lot of changes on this particular side, but overall this gives you a good view of how this uh, boring company facility in Bastrop, Texas has changed over the last two months. So I hope the comparison of both the SpaceX facility here and the boring company facility right across the street over the last few months has been helpful and in put into context what the changes have been out at this facility. Now there is one other update that I would like to provide and this has been discussed in the media and also recently some people on social media have started discovering this report that came out in January and that is as you look at this image here just to the north of the Boring Company and the SpaceX facility this large pasture area eventually is going to be a housing complex built by the Elon Musk companies and the purpose may be to help support some of the Giga Texas workers, could be to support some of the Starlink workers or the Boring Company workers or maybe some combination of all of those. So hopefully with this image it gives you a little bit of context of where this housing community is going to be installed at some point in the near future. I don't have an exact date on that but it'll be something that I will continue to monitor. So there you have it. That's a two month comparison update of the Starlink and SpaceX facility right behind me and also the Boring Company facility right across the highway of, from this facility and I hope that you enjoyed the comparisons and also I hope that you'll enjoy the video that I will present here in just a second. As always, thank you very much for your support, your encouragement and for all of the positive comments on my YouTube and Twitter accounts. I very much appreciate that. For today's video, I'm not going to do any narration, so they'll give you a chance to interpret things the way you wish to have them interpreted, but I'll just present the information in the video. As always, thank you again, and happy President's Day. Take care. Standing Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you.